Guyana's agricultural sector continues to advance rapidly with the Victoria Greens hydroponics project being one of the most technologically advanced in the Caribbean. The first harvest from this groundbreaking project took place on Wednesday at a National Agricultural Research and Extension Institute NARI in Monrebor, East Coast Demerara. Victoria Greens is growing a wide variety of fresh herbs and vegetables, including lettuce, cucumber, pak choy, celery, chives, parsley, dill, coriander, spinach, and among others. Victoria Green's greenhouse operator, Anisha Azor, told DPI that this is the first harvest since the project began in October. We'll begin to harvest lettuce, pak choy, basil, kale, rocket, and mustard. Now, on a rough average, we'll be harvesting 600 heads of pak choys and over 650 heads of lettuce. The basil, the mustard, kale, and rocket added together, it's over a thousand clusters of those herbs. These herbs and vegetables are relatively new to Guyana, but they are already in high demand. Before this project, these crops were not regularly grown in the country. For now, the produce will be available at supermarkets and local markets. Customers can also purchase this produce in bulk. The processing and packaging are also done right at the farm. This is the only place you can find herbs like these planted in Guyana. The mustard, the basil, the rocket, the kale, our varieties of lettuce. We have five varieties of lettuce. Nowhere else you can find these varieties in Guyana. And so because these are foreign produce being planted here in Guyana, being grown from seed to mature crops. You're grown right here in Guyana. This is the only place you can find them and that's where we catch our high-end hotels. They gravitate here to purchase because in that way, they reduce their rate of importation. And of course, the prices are reasonable. Azor also explained why it's important to reap the crops in the morning instead of the afternoon. She said that the leaves are softer and a bit wilted in the midday and afternoon. So you may ask yourselves why we're here so early, 5 a.m. in the morning. It is very, very important that we harvest at this time because that's when the leaves, and you, you can notice that these are all leafy vegetables. That's when the leaves are very sturdy and they're at their fullest. They're blooming at this time. So we harvest them at this time. So by the, by the time it's 7.30 a.m., they're ready and fresh to be delivered to our customers. Azur said that water flow is important for the crops at the farm and that they use a system to monitor for any problems. So we have a system in which we use to notify us whenever there is a backwash, whenever there is a flush back and so forth in order to ensure that these crops get the full supply of nutrients that they need on a daily basis. The next harvest is just two weeks away. The project is being executed by the Israeli company Carlico Inc. Back in December 2022, a Memorandum of Understanding MOU was inked between the government and the company for the development of the major project. Government is using cutting-edge technology to transform the Caribbean's agricultural system. This will help to increase food production, ensure food security, and reduce the high cost of imported food.